Hey guys, I am in here with my baby chicks. It's been right at two days since they were born. So I want to share with you a quick tip on how to sex your chickens using their feathers on their wings. Um, I know there's maybe a little um, argument sake, I guess, out there on whether or not it's accurate. But I'll tell you, being a brand new chicken owner, I got it 100% on the money when I picked out day old chicks from my farm store. So I know it works. Um, now, does it work for every single type of chicken? I don't know. I only know based off Rhode Island Reds, um, Golden Lace Wine Dots, Bard Rocks, and um, my Golden Commons or Issa Browns. So. It definitely works for those breeds, which is what I have bred out here in my barnyard flock. So I'm gonna show you guys today how to do feather sexing. Now, what I have after two days, I have sexed them, um, and I believe what I've got out of the five is four hens and a rooster. Now, I'm not gonna be able to use this rooster in my flock because they are related from the same parental rooster. So we're going to have to find him a new home, which gets me back to why am I um, hatching out additional chicks. If you guys caught that, I put in some new eggs in my incubator this morning, and um, my goal was to have five to seven new laying hens in my new laying flock, and since I just have four, I'm going to see if I can up that amount and if I have extra then I'll just give them away to folks around the area. So let me bring you guys down here and show you um, how you can distinguish a girl chicken from a boy chicken. But did you guys see this? Dan made them art for her their living room. Is that, that not the most precious thing you've ever seen? It just brightens up their little space. I'm just gonna use my knee for laying their feathers on. Let's see if we can get a... Uh... This is, I know for sure, a hen. You've had this done too many times today, I know, but we're gonna just show them, show our friends, okay? So hens have what's called primary feathers and covert feathers. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Okay. Okay, there, that's a good one. Long, short, long. Hopefully that's coming out. Anyway, look it up on Google if, you, if this isn't coming up in the video. There are two sets of feathers, primary, and covert feathers. Hen or roosters only have primary feathers. Come on, let's show you, let's show our friends your feathers. This is a really good one. Let's spread them out. So do you see short, long? Right here is a good, good image of Primary versus secondary. I know, honey, but we need to show our friends so that they know how to do it. There we go. So right below my thumb is where the covert feathers are ending and the primary feathers take off. So you're gonna have basically covert, primary, covert, primary, covert, primary. And then one other thing that you can look for with hens is they're gonna go grow tail feathers faster than a rooster. Their feather, uh, wing feathers are gonna grow faster than a rooster. And then their um, wings naturally have um, kind of like a long front and a very detailed cup at the back. So let me grab the rooster and show you why I'm not thinking he is a hen. So what I don't see is any clear definition of 
primary versus covert. You're not even seeing much definition of primary feathers. Hey, hey, mister. Yeah, I'm just looking through the other wing because... Hey, you could just have a bad fin, huh? Yeah, there's no clear definition of primary versus secondary. Really hardly any definition of primary feathers at all. So you, mister, are a little boy. So I know that was hard to pick up a little bit on focus on the camera. Hopefully I got a couple shots in there where you can see the difference. And basically, if I lay my fingers over, it kind of looks like this. Like, primary feathers are the long ones, and your secondary covert feathers are the middle ones. And you can clearly see the quills in between. Um, a rooster's not gonna have that. They're only gonna have primary feathers. They're all gonna be the same length. And then a hen, her wing is gonna kinda go like this, where it's long in the front and short in the back and a clear cup, where a rooster is just gonna be kinda straight across. So again, it's not always um, from what I've read and researched that that's not a 100% rule of thumb for all breeding flocks, but it certainly worked for me. So if you're going with a standard farm store um, pick up a batch of um, standard laying flock, I think it pretty much can, can be a surefire way when you're picking through those little chicks that are for sale to find your hens. So, um, I'm sure we'll do another update on these little kiddos as they grow up and let you know how they're doing. Day two, and they are super healthy, happy, eating, drinking, playing, and fighting, just like little kids. All right, guys, talk to you later.